Hello, everybody. It is Friday, September the 27th. Captain Marty here with today's fishing report and weekend kickoff. Thankful that we're not dealing with a major hurricane and thinking and praying about those that are. A lot of friends down in the Gulf Coast, in the Big Bend area of Florida, family, friends, old charter boat buddies, really thinking about them today as they try to pick up the pieces. But we do have stuff to talk about. I'll be right back to do just that. Welding. It's ultimately the use of lightning to fuse metals and steel together. And at Wanchi's Metalworks, that's what they do best. Specializing in marine fabrication and repair on sport and commercial fishing vessels, Wanchi's Metalworks does fuel tank fabrication, rod racks, rocket launchers, T-tops, towers, struts, rudders, trim tabs, and green sticks, just to name a few. They also do interior and exterior handrails and stainless kitchen work too. Whether it's MIG and TIG or arc welding, Wanchi's Metalworks does it all. They're the realest of the real when it comes to metal and steel. Wanchi's Metalworks, 102 CB Daniels Road, Wanchi's. Boasting phenomenal seafood dishes, a great menu, and waterfront views with deck seating, Striper's Bar and Grill at the Shallowbag Bay Marina in Manio serves a casual, fun-filled dining experience with an Outer Banks flair. With three floors to choose from, you're bound to find the perfect seat for you and yours while while enjoying great food and fantastic drinks. To see our menu and to catch a glimpse of the beautiful views, go online to stripersbarandgrill.com. Stripers Bar and Grill at the Shallowbag Bay Marina in Manio, where everyone's a VIP. So the fleet has been dealing with sea on the bars. But the ocean's been pretty fishable. They've had to push on some days, been kind of rough. Harris has had good dolphin fishing or mahi. Again, mostly balers, that's the theme. Um, They've had hot and cold wahoo fishing, Hatteras being the wahoo capital of the world. And then uh, a little drop off in the blackfin tuna fishing, not as good as it has been. But um, fleet was small and they did get out and they made their day. Inshore boats down there have been catching king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, bluefish, every once in a while ribbon fish or a drum so that's been going on then i talked to uh, captain dickie harris on the fantastic up at oregon inlet and he reported a lot of stuff going on really um good we've seen a couple days of good white marlin fishing six seven eight white marlin in one rigger on one boat not uncommon uh there was a scattered blue marlin over the last couple days as well and good dolphin fishing very good dolphin fishing limits for most of the boats of the bailers those would be anywhere from five to eight pounds you might know them as mahi and you go to a restaurant around town and see mahi that's what we're talking about one of the best eating fish we catch in our area very delicate very light flesh very good is what i would say now uh inshore the oregon Inlet fleet has been catching a lot of ribbon fish for the last couple weeks some bluefish a few spanish mackerel and some of these big drum are being caught as they come in and out of the inlet so their fishing has been good when they can get across the bar that's the important thing as far as pure fishing goes it's all about the drum the drum beat is definitely on and there has been um, an assortment of sizes caught uh daytime and nighttime off just about every pier uh, 41 to 44 inches seems to be the common length uh, of a lot of these big drum on the end of the pier but there's other stuff going on too um there's these bluefish these five to eight pound bluefish a few of those there's a a, a few of the smaller pier type fish sea mullets and croakers for one uh so there's a bite whether you're trophy fishing off the end of the pier for the big drum or whether you're trying to get a little closer to shore and uh and fish for the bottom feeders surf fishing is was been really tough with the swell the last few days but there is an assortment of fish and that would include spot and some croakers sea mullet and the mixed size drum a few big ones in areas a lot of slot size meaning you can keep one so um just a mixed bag of summer species really even though we're now into the fall Uh, i'll take a little break and i'll be right back to talk to you about the backcountry Scrambling around to different stores, in and out of the car multiple times to make sure you have everything you need for the beach, that can be such a hassle. But not with the Breeze Through in Avon. Breeze Through is your one stop for gas, beer, drinks, ice, sandwiches, snacks, coffee, sunscreen, and the best part, you don't even have to get out of your vehicle. That's right, just sit tight. Breeze Through will bring everything you need right to your car. Looking for a keg for a special event or gathering? Breeze Through is the only store on Hatteras Island who sells them. Breeze Through Avon. Milepost 55 and online at breezethroughobx.com. 
As I mentioned yesterday, Captain Dickie Harris that I was just talking about, he went out with a guy down this way, down Hyde County Way, and they had a great day of speckled trout. The speckled trout bite is good in the Pamlico Sound, as is the drum bite in all size categories, but a lot of the puppy drum, really, and a lot of them in the slot size as well. So they got that, and that's something we've been talking about for a month, speckled trout and drum, but also good catches of bluefish, some flounder, which had to be thrown back, and some sheephead. So all that is stuff to look forward to if we get enough decent weather over the weekend to stay out in the sound fishing. I do know for the offshore fleet, they're talking about some pretty strong southeast winds, but we'll wait and see what, what that means for our inshore guys. Um, another thing, while Dickie was on that charter, he was telling me the captain actually took a cast net and beat the edges of a ditch bank that opened out into the sound and threw a cast net. And they caught like 10 pounds of nice shrimp, which, of course, they took home and ate. So if you're good with a cast net, you might try a little shrimping. We don't talk about that very much, but we know the sound is full of shrimp. And I also know the price is as low as it's going to get all summer. Luke Midget at Insane Seafood in both Stumpy Point and Man- Man's Harbor was telling me they were in, in the, uh, excuse me, Stumpy Point in Columbia was telling me uh, at their Stumpy Point location, 15, 20 count shrimp, 350 a pound, heads on. Unbelievable. And you know, the price is low. I know it's a hard way to make a living. You have to catch a lot of volume if you're a commercial fisherman. And I don't understand all of that, but that's the way it is. So you got the shrimp running. And that's pretty much the long and the short things as we head into the weekend. We're going to be weather sensitive. Uh, tomorrow is opening day of youth season, or it's the one day of youth season and the opening day of black powder hunting. And then we have a shift in the weather coming Tuesday or Wednesday of next week when it's going to cool off and feel a little less humid and a little more seasonal. So that is our fish report. Thanks for checking in with us today. Hope you have a great day and God bless.